Hi everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. I'm riding once again to see my friends at Moloko Cycling because they have arranged a great ride to Brighton. Yes, they are putting together event after event and I really I wish I had more time to ride with them more often. But today the event is even more special because we are also seeing off Duncan on his uh, longer ride. Yes, he's going to keep going because he decided yes to go long and uh, ride across the world yes unbelievable he's going to take a year off and uh, ride everywhere <laughs> hello all good always nice to see a friend <coughs> much milder today and i'm on my nice sirocco kit so i went lighter with the m2 jersey not with the beeps though, because um, I didn't want to go shorts yet, so I'm on my three quarters, which I like, and uh, not many manufacturers still do them. So I need to write to my friends at Sirocco to introduce one. Morning, morning, yeah. morning, morning. Today I'm on my aero bike, my velo build, because on the menu is wind. Uh, yes, strong, strong headwind. So I hope I'm going to yeah, right, mate. slice off the wind with my 23C tires that form a perfect transition with the vision wheels and my specialized bench inspired frame. How are you? So this is the man himself, Duncan, ready for his round the world trip. So it's been quite a long time coming. So what's the first leg? Where are you going first? Yes, the start is across Europe. So um, we'll ride down to Brighton today, down to the south coast, get a ferry across to the north coast of France. Then I'll ride across France in Switzerland, across Switzerland, through the top of Italy, through the Dolomites, uh, onto an off-road trail called the uh, Veneto Divide. Then into Austria, down through Slovenia, Croatia, down the Adriatic coast, to, uh, through the Balkans to Greece, across Greece, across Turkey and into Georgia. And at that point I run out of land and have to take a hop to go over the Caspian Sea. So that's leg one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of riding. You go to the Himalayas, it's, it's pretty, it's big mountains. So it's, uh, it's a different kind of challenge. I was looking forward to Mongolia. I can go back there another time. Uh, so. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I will follow you on Instagram and of course I'll post your link. And, uh, Thanks yeah. a lot. Well done. Cheers. Yeah, thank you so much everyone for coming today. So we are hosting a Moloko and Veloce Rise. Duncan, just over here, is uh, today starting his cycle around the world. So today is the world. Uh, so let's get rolling. If I can have 10 people in group one ready to go, please. Off we go, I'm with uh, Jackson in his uh, faster group to have a coffee stop at 50 kilometers and uh, straight to Brighton for fish and chips. Interesting to see the clothing choices of people. Some are in a full summer kit. I'm uh, sort of halfway in between uh, and uh, my Italian friends fully covered with three layers and big tights. is everything but yes if the wind is uh, coming from the front on a deep profile wheels and the aero bike if uh, the wind is uh, shattering you from the side well it's not easy Like we are sailing more than cycling it's hard enough to to keep the bike straight jackson back on diamonda i'm back on diamonda nice and stylish ready for mallorca yeah i've done no training <laughs> don't need see. it you don't need it <laughs> see i'm not on my canyon ultimate rim break but it's nice to see some still surviving with the rim brakes <laughs> and a beautiful color as well yeah, 
very busy, very popular tan house farm shop, or as we call the donkey store. Yours? So, so Tatiana put a post on Instagram whether to wear <laughs> black shoes or white shoes, and actually the consensus was for her to wear black shoes. Good call. Good call. Uh -huh. Right now, yeah. Yeah, but I went with white, and they're still holding on for now. That's yeah. Pretty clean. Yeah. yeah. Let, let's see in Brighton what what they look like. <laughs> 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 and we are off another 50 60 kilometers to Brighton as usual stiff legs after the break some people don't like to stop at all and uh, they keep going for the whole ride I don't like the coffee stop very social nice refuel strategy but yeah maybe if you take too much time in the stop it's progressively harder to start so there is an argument of keeping uh, the ride going and don't stop at all cold and windy my god not the 20 degrees we were promised yeah. another nice ultimate this time with uh, disc brakes what size of tires have you got on this 28 okay yeah 28 on this on foot yeah i'm actually quite happy how the bike is sliding to the wind at the front as well, doing my duty. <laughs> Sometimes I do, yes. And also what I'm trying to concentrate on, stay in the front, is maintain a good pace and not to half wheel uh, for the benefit of the group. Maintaining a great pace is uh, much better for everyone. Jackson is doing a great job and I'm trying to get the same speed. How could I get this wrong? I, I said that you were riding an ultimate. Know, it's an endurance. endurance. Oh my god. I'll take it. I should know better. <laughs> yeah, 2019 endurance. Yeah. Well, we went through something that I could only describe like a gravel section. A bit of a splash of mud. Anyway, I'm all dirty. But it is what it is. So there will be a nice steep climb just before Brighton. Not nice because it's coming 90 kilometers in, but I guess there will be the pain before the fish and chip reward. So yes, we are all up for it. What's the name of the climb? Nestling Beacon. Oh wow. Sounds, uh, sounds harsh enough. First on the hill, well done. <laughs> then so. second, fourth, I have to say. But age adjusted. How old are you guys? 30. 30. 37. I don't know. Oh, what's my age? Oh, I'm uh, 30. <laughs> 51, so age adjusted. <laughs> I think I'm going well. The view from the top is very rewarding. I need to translate from the non English view as this is a nice day by English standard so well <laughs> yeah there you go nice downhill all the way to Brighton so almost finito almost. <laughs> so Lydia by magic appeared out of nowhere well done how did you manage secret <laughs> okay I guess it's fantastic location the wind is a bit annoying but yes a Brighton pier in the background and uh, fish and chips was unbelievably good yes it's uh, nice how you know like English people we are pretending we are all uh, nice and warm while it's freezing in Italy people would be wearing a coat or a puffer jacket but yeah here yeah we're all smiling and we're all happy I guess it's a mindset thing how was your ride? so the ride was fantastic and I have to say Alex well done for you to arranging the events that you are putting on are incredible so Aww. many now so we got next coming the oh, we've got a can canyon canyon demo uh, demo weekend actually not just a, a demo day this time so two days of trying uh, ultimate air roads endurance also the grail the grizzle and the new grizzle on since you're making me starting on it we have uh, the canyon festival which is going to be super amazing like uh, it's going to be a weekend First weekend of September, 6 to 8. You can do camping, glamping, there's going to be some hotels around as well. And Q&A with athletes, the Takers team is going to come. 
we're gonna we thinking about having a cyclocross kind of competition for fun and uh, yeah so no, no. all the Very fans are nice. super excited to restart the season like it just feels nice to have everyone out again and bring on the summer really well done and thank uh, you so much and uh Fede is going to Mallorca with us again I can't in wait. two weeks seeing the sunshine <laughs> well done so I guess Tatiana was right in <laughs> getting, <laughs> getting the black shoes because I kept the shoes almost nicely clean up to halfway but then the last bit was so muddy and uh, well yeah you were right. I was very happy that was the only thought when I was flying through the puddles like I'm happy I have a black shoes <laughs> I guess Duncan is ready for his long trip Yeah, no happy faces. Uh, apparently this was a landslide on the tracks where we are patiently waiting, <laughs> very tired. Get yeah. home soon. <laughs> no, we want to get home. Right? I can't believe we are still on the train. It looks like we, we spent ages, like almost seven o'clock and we are yeah, still riding. Home, yeah. <laughs> where Lydia's face says it all. It only took us two and a half hours. I'm so late, my wife is filming, we were supposed to be somewhere, it's 7 o'clock, can't believe how long it took. Unusual end for my video, I couldn't film anything at the end of the ride, so I left the bike all dirty, so we went for dinner, my wife was already emitting flames from her nostrils, so I didn't want to push her further. It was a really enjoyable day out to Brighton. The Velobil bike performed extremely well, didn't have any mechanical issues. I managed to stay close to the strong guys on uh, Digital Beacon and I was really happy with the performance. Great riding, great day out, bike performed really well, I really can ask for more. Guys, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!